Body cam footage shows the suspect attacking an officer as she searches him for weapons. That officer's partner then manages to shoot the suspect before he does any harm. KTLA Shelby Nelson is live at the Fontana Police Department where she spoke with officers about the terrifying traffic stop. Shelby. Sheriff Micah, thankfully those officers were not injured. I'm told they are actually back on duty. But when Fontana Police Chief uh, spoke earlier today, in so many words, he really just says this underscores the challenges his officers face on the daily. This suspect appeared to be cooperating until he wasn't. Let it go! <laughs> A struggle over a gun. It's one suspect versus this female officer when he puts her in a headlock. The tense moments culminating after Fontana police pull the man over for a vehicle violation in the city of Ukaipa. He's got a gun! This was everything but a normal traffic stop with a very cooperative individual that, at, you know, in one second it turned into a deadly fight for the officer's life situation. Fontana police chief Michael Dorsey addressing the body worn camera footage released last week along with other city and county leaders. On February 9th, officers were assisting other local law enforcement agencies. The officers pulled the driver over, now identified as Ellen Metka, at Ukaipa Boulevard and 14th Street. Is the car registered to you? Yes, sir. You okay. can see it right there. Do you have your ID with you? Yes, sir. Right. Can you get him out of here? Metka appears to be cooperative. He's asked whether he's ever been arrested, to which he replies yes. What were you arrested for? Uh, explosives in public. Metka is asked to step on the curb while the officer runs the plates. Nothing illegal on you? No weapons or anything? No. But things quickly take a turn when another officer pats him down. What's this right here? My gun. He's got a gun! Metka puts the female officer in a headlock. The female officer continued to fight back to keep his hand in his pocket so that the gun wasn't with... Oh wasn't withdrawn. Her partner comes out shooting at the suspect one time in the jaw. We surmise that the gunshot could not be heard because it was a very close contact wound. Metka survived his injury. He's facing several charges, including possession of a firearm by a felon and possession of a destructive device after authorities say they found explosives in his vehicle. It's a similar charge to what he was arrested for in August of 2021 when Metka was found with explosives, causing police to shut down Sierra Avenue and Valley Boulevard in Fontana. He was actually convicted of uh, felony possession of uh, explosive device in public and received two years in county prison. And Metka is out of the hospital being treated at the West Valley Detention Center. And according to court records, he is being held on $160,000 bail and due in court on Wednesday. According to the district attorney, if he is convicted on all those charges, he could face anywhere between five and 12 years in prison. Reporting live in Fontana, I'm Shelby Nelson, KTLA 5 News. Shelby, thank you.